Hey crafters, it's Janet with Crafting It Up. I'm coming at you today. I wanted to show you guys, I've been working on several different things for a fall craft show. Um, this is going to be probably how I end up buying my kids Christmas. Um, just because I've got a daughter in uh, college and two kids in high school and eighth grade. And typically they tend to like to have... Um, electronics for Christmas and they tend to be a little bit more on the expensive side and I'm pretty sure somebody needs a new laptop at least one person in this family does and so I have tried to think of different things that I love and this is one of these labor of love pieces that I wanted for myself and I feel would do good in a craft show in my area so this is one of those Rusty Spring Snowmen. I don't know if you guys have seen them before. Of course, if you go on Pinterest, you can find tons and tons of ideas for these. I will do another one after this to show different things that I'll do with these. But right now, I wanted to show you um, the snowman that I created. I'm also going to link a lady down below. Her channel is faithchick777. She actually did a tutorial on this. I'm just going to do a project share, show you some of the different things that I used. And um, I'll also link her recipe for how to, um, of a mixture that she used on the styrofoam balls as well. And She's super talented. She has a lot of um, really great ideas on her channel on how to layer stuff, um, different things to do for craft shows, and that is something that I wanted to do and share with you guys as well in case you were looking for ideas of things um, to sell. Now, I bought a thing of bed springs off of eBay, and it came with I want to say 14 of these rusty bed springs so you can kind of see that there is a little bit of rust on these and then there are these that are just I guess steel and the only thing I wish that these were was that the ones that um, she had on her channel just went straight up into the spring part so it was missing this seated part which I thought at first you know maybe the head would rest on there but I just think it looks funny now I did buy this super cute snowman head at Hobby Lobby yesterday now he is $3.99 and he was 40% off and I have thought of another way to maybe make something like this and recreate it of course he's a little bit bigger than the styrofoam balls you know that I have made um, but if you add you know those Sherpa blank or I guess they're out of the automotive section of Dollar Tree and around these then it might be a little bit on the thicker make it on the thicker side and you could tie it up into this part and hide it with a cute little toboggan such as what he has on so there's just one idea um, if he's a little bit bigger of a head like that, you know, maybe, but I, the way I see it is that his smile kind of goes down into the bed spring. I guess you could maybe flip it up a little, you know, where if, if you have one this big that it may work, work out. Yeah, but not, that doesn't look bad. But I kind of was thinking to myself, all right, what can I do to maybe take this off of here? And of course I had to ask my boyfriend. <laughs> so he said get bolt cutters and so I did I bought a pair of bolt cutters um, these were $16 they're uh, 18 inch bolt cutters I only am showing you this because I feel like somebody will ask me before it's all said and done especially if I link the eBay auction below that I ordered these bed springs from then you know you may want to use something like this too and some of your husbands may or boyfriends significant others may have these on hand and so i just used that to um just cut that part off of it and then i just i've got to make sure i don't hit the the snow tech part because it's still wet in some areas 
but I just kind of laid him along that bed spring part and glued it on and I used a hot glue device in order to do that so so I'm gonna kind of have him set there so you can kind of see him that hat came from the Dollar Tree they've sold them in years past um, they have them back again this year and I believe they do have this one and this one in stock this year um, or something similar to it. It might be a little bit bigger. I'm trying to decide. No, it's not. So they come like this and it's got um, a little bit of like fake snow look on the top. It's really super cute little top hats. Um, even years prior to that they had some with glitter and I have a bunch of those. I happened um, I was using them for something else at the time. Oh, to make the snowman out of the um, glass bowls, or they're in the candle section that look kind of like fish bowls, to make scenic snowmen. And so I was buying the hats for those as well. And after Christmas, I ran across a bunch of them for like 50 cents or 25 cents. And so I picked up probably about 10 more of these. So I still have these in my stash. Um, this, I think it's just too much glitter. I probably need to go back and try to um, maybe just brush off some of the extra green glitter. And I removed this green piece here because I just thought it was too much on one of these. And I'll show you. I removed the um, part from the top and I just put in hot glue to make it because it kind of puts a little hole in there put in hot glue and filled it and put that snow mixture on it as well. You can kind of see that I used the hot glue there too because it's kind of um, thick, but I'll go back and put the snow tech on it that I used on him. And I think that'll look fine and then it'll still have that glistening look as well on there. So it's really nice. Um, one of the things that you could do with your snowman or that um, foam ball is cut a little section of this out to flatten it so that your hat will set right on it because as you can see it would not give you much area to glue there so it would set really good and it looks like it's you know on his head this way I could have actually probably taken just a little bit more off to get that on there I guess um, that's the only thing with, if you do one like this, you'll have to make it a toboggan type hat, which there are so many things at the Dollar Tree you can use for that. And I'll show you some more ideas here in just a minute. So for this little hat here, I added some of that snow mixture. I just used Mod Podge. Um, it doesn't really matter. I kind of tend to like the matte or the satin finish, but I just brushed it on these um, little individual pine needles and then sprinkled that mixture on there. And then I added some of it to the top of the hat as well. And like I say, I'll add snow tech to that as well. These little pine cones are plastic. Um, they don't look too bad. Some of them look really, really um, fake looking. And I probably could end up trimming, as you can see, there's like this little piece of plastic right here. Trim some of that off so just it looks looks a little better. Um, one of the silver ones. Now, I didn't mind this white piece as much on this one. I think I'll still go back and add a few more things, like, you know, maybe one of these little berry things to add some color to it, maybe. But I did add a couple little uh, buttons that are from Hobby Lobby. These come in a little pack. All their Christmas stuff right now is 40% off. But I just kind of added those to the hat. You know, the sky's the limit. On um, this hat, of course, I added the same mixture to there. I left the little um, bells. There was only that one little sprig of pine and then they had this leaf. There was something going on here and I was trying to hide that. Um, it was like a little spot in the leaf. It didn't look good. Maybe something got pulled off of it. I'm trying to, of course, hide the little hole where the attachment was. And I did that on this. Oh, I know what it is. Is missing on the other one. It's these little um, springs. 
so there's no springs on that one and then this one I put one of the little leaves and that is also from this same pick here now I bought a few different picks at Hobby Lobby they're 40% off um, I apologize if you can hear the neighbor's dogs in the background. Usually they don't bark that much. Um, but this is one of the little picks. This is $1.99, and of course it was 40% off, so it was $0.80 cents off of this little pick, and I used just a piece of it. Um, it even has some of these cute little springs pieces, so I may cut one of those off and add it to that hat, because I think that really kind of adds to it. It's really super cute. They had these little berry stem ones. These were $2.49. Um, it was also 40% uh, off of these. I thought this would look good even if I just did um, the snowman and didn't make it so Christmassy, you know, where you could just make it primitive and you could keep it up, you know, on here in Virginia up until like March even. Um, of course, we've even had uh, snow in April here before, but that would be cute. I usually put all my snowmen up around Valentine's Day. And then, of course, they had the gold ones. This was $1.99. And then they have just these little berries. These are $1.59. So when I see stuff like this and I think, oh, I can use just this little piece on something, I just feel like I'm getting a really good deal for that and for these type of berries. I bought these last year and I used them in several different little ornaments. It's just so pretty. It's just white. Um, this one was $1.99, but that will look good even with that silver hat and adding a few little extra things there. And then, of course, I got these. These were $1.59. They have these at Michael's. They're $1.99. They might have a few more little white balls on them though. I'm not sure now that I'm kind of looking at it. But I was thinking yesterday when I saw them in Michaels for a little bit more. And they might have been $2.49. I don't know. But I, I still think this is a good deal. And I think these would look good um, on any of those hats really. Um, that don't already have the berries on them. Like this one already has the red berries on it. I'm going to kind of pull him down where you can see him. But for the hats, I just um, pull this little piece out and I kind of try to work it back and forth so that I don't mess anything up too much. I made carrot noses with just some polymer clay. You could get air dry clay, um, but I just, I already had the little oven and I already had orange clay. If you get air dry clay, you know, you'll want to paint them but I made little carrot noses and really cute. I <laughs> was making these last night as we were watching a movie on TV and I was showing Jim my carrot noses and he said, they're crooked. And I said, but carrots aren't perfect, right? That's why, what I was going for. <laughs> so he was making fun of my lopsided carrots, but, and then I used this little tool. You could also use just um, anything with a sharp end like this and I just kind of put it in and you know just did it every other area to kind of make it look like it was carrots. So I was really proud of those. Um, and then when I put it in the little snowman face I kind of push it down into it to almost to where it'll stay in there and then I used some hot glue to hold it in there. And then I also rolled up little um, pebbles with some black clay and I got tons of these. I rolled them in all different sizes so I had some for the mouth and some for the eyes and you know if you look in here close enough you can see that I accidentally got some glitter in them and I thought oh I'm a couple of them I picked it out and I was like, well, you know, I can always use that side to glue against the snowman, so hopefully it won't matter. Those rusty bed springs and the steel bed springs, they also came with these little pieces too. 
if you go on Pinterest, you can find all sorts of things to do with these. So look for that in the future because I'll, I'll try to do a couple crafts with these. But I'm kind of concentrating on these snowmen. Snowmen are really big around here. I think everybody just loves snowmen. But you could add some owls to them. These were really pretty owls. Um, they were $11.99. Of course, they were 40% off at Hobby Lobby. I just thought they were so pretty. I honestly got these so I could have one for me. And I'll probably give one of these to my cousin Susan for Christmas. We usually go to Asheville every winter or um, every December for Warren Haynes concert. He does a Habitat for Humanity concert. And uh, the proceeds go to build a house and down in that area. And I think that's where Warren Haynes is from. And... I love any kind of music that you're there um, live in person. Usually they have a bunch of different singers. Um, Allison Krauss has been there. Um, Cheryl Crow. I'm trying to think of like really high name bands, but uh, Warren Haynes and the Susan Tedeschi and the Trucks band is there and different things like that in the last several years. Um, but it's really nice. I think they do a really good job, you know, with the venue and everything and, and the proceeds and stuff. You can sign posts that they're going to actually put in the house. It's really cool. So here are some of the little owls that the Dollar Tree has even. And these are so cute. Now, this is the one that I picked up without the nose, of course. But um, these would be really cute inside this as well. And I thought about even you know if you had the little bird's nest of adding it in there and he would be really cute so I've got some different ideas that I want to do with these of course um, there's this wired garland that you can get from the Dollar Tree and you could um, use wire cutters and cut these pieces in half add them to the bed spring all kinds of different things snow tech so this is what I use to kind of I just use this end of my little uh, pokey tool and added it to the snowman in different strategic places. I did use the little um, Signo uh, Uniball gel pen to add the whites of his eyes. Um, I thought that just kind of added something to it. I do think that his eyes are just slightly too big for his head. so. I did try to kind of shove them in that white there, but I kind of had already glued them before I thought that. I used a scarf from the Dollar Tree that's in this red plaid. Um, I cut one to begin with, and it just didn't feel like it was long enough for him. You know, I didn't feel like it covered enough. Um, but as you can see, I cut little places in the end to make it look like a scarf so then I ended up cutting a longer piece but as you can see with the scarf you could get a lot of scarves out of this um, to use for your snowmen and of course I do have this one that's the white and black plaid which would look good with the black cats they sell um, these really nice um, fuzzy socks, which I think would make a good little um, toboggan type hat as well. They've got them in all sorts of different colors. And you could definitely use the foot part, at least for two of them. But even, even after that, if you gather it at the top there and maybe even hold it with a piece of twine, you could probably get at least I'm guessing three hats out of one sock so you know you could get six hats for you know a dollar to decorate all these styrofoam balls these are a little bit more expensive these came from Walmart they're a little bit on the bigger side Dollar Tree does sell some but they're smaller than these um, and I coated them with Mod Podge and so I use a lot of Mod Podge for different crafts and things. I have some other things that I'm going to share with you for the craft show that I use a layer of this as a sealer. But basically you just cover the entire um, 
styrofoam ball with it and dip it into this mixture and it just kind of makes it look like a really cool effect of a snowball. I just think these are super cute. If you have any questions, leave them for me down below. If you uh, like these type of project shares, let me know because I'm not really going to do the tutorial. Um, the other girl actually has done a really fabulous tutorial and she's super talented. Um, again, her, her um, name here on YouTube is FaithChick777. She goes through sometimes and will show um, all kinds of different things that she's made. And the way she layers it and the detail that she does to a lot of things, it just blows my mind. So I know that when I'm out of commission, I figure even with my knee, I'll probably be resting it at least for four or five days um i'm gonna definitely go back and binge watch her channel and a couple others that i just love to watch there's another really talented uh, youtuber on here crafts by caitlin i want to say is her channel and i'll link her down below as well she has a lot of different little inventive things that she does too. So I'm going to start sharing with you um, the different things that I'm going to do for my craft show and then hopefully when I actually participate I'll be able to tell you uh, what the bigger sellers are. I want to say October 19th, 20th, 21st uh, is when this craft show will take place. So it's kind of early in the year. I do want to, I really would like to do one at the end of November and maybe early December because I don't know if a lot of this Christmas stuff will be that welcome with everybody just yet. I would like to try to maybe do something scarecrow with these, but I don't know. I haven't seen any of those yet. And so I have some idea in my head of maybe how to put that together, but we'll see. So thanks you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a moment to craft it up. Of course, as always, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that little subscribe button and that'll notify, and if you hit the bell next to it, that'll notify you every time I upload a new video and then you'll be able to see some of these really cute crafts that I'm putting together and um, maybe it can help you out as well too. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.